Yay! It's time for art! Hello, my fourth grader friends. Last week, we drew with shapes our cartoon, superhero, character, whatever you decided to make. This week, we are going to finish up our character. So here is my character. I added planets in the background because he is Planet Boy. And I filled it in with watercolors and crayons. But let's watch me make mine and finish mine off and you can follow along. If you remember last week, we made our people using shapes. And we used that little mannequin as a reference for what a body is made up of. I am adding designs onto Planet Boy's shirt, adding shoe ties, and I put some planets in the background. Once I'm happy with the pencil lines, I'm going over every single pencil with a Sharpie. This step is really helpful if you have a permanent marker since we are going to be painting over with watercolors. Regular markers and watercolors don't really blend. Since I'm taking my time, I'm going to do some video magic. I am about done with my Sharpie, so I'm going to go in with the next step, which is adding crayons. The crayons and water don't mix, and so it makes a resist, a watercolor resist. If you don't have watercolors, that's okay. Keep watching. I have a trick for you to use. So I'm using the crayons on just the parts I want details to stick out. I'm not coloring the whole thing in with crayons, just certain parts. Your project does not need to be a planet person. It doesn't have to have planets in the background. This is just what I chose to do. You can make yours in anywhere. It could be on a beach. It could be in a classroom. It could be in an art studio. That is up to you. Once you're done with adding the crayons to it, you can go in with your watercolor. Like I said earlier, you can paint right over the crayons since the crayons are waxy, they resist the water. Those of you who do not have watercolors at home, you can use washable markers and a plastic, I used a plastic baggie, but it could really be anything plastic, and a brush and water and you draw the marker on the baggie and you paint just like you would with watercolors. I'm using the brown marker for the skin tone. I forgot the ears earlier. Oops. And I'm painting carefully around the teeth and the whites of the eyes. You could always add a second layer of paint to give a more richness of color and depth of color. For the cape, I am using gray marker if you look very closely, you can see where the crayon pops out, and that is from the crayon resist. For the background, I'm doing a, the black Crayola marker. As you can see, the black marker isn't very black. It's more like a teal, but I thought it was perfect for an outer space look. Finishing up with all the little white spaces that I left, and we're about done. Don't forget to Take a photo of your artwork and post it onto Google Classroom. Your project needs to be submitted with a photo for me to count it. Art is a grade, and so don't forget to take a photo with your artwork. Good luck and have fun. Bye.